All right, I'm putting my uh, pistons in, doing one bank at a time. That way I can keep my rods oriented and I don't get anything backwards. So I'm doing the last piston on this row number five. I'm using a uh, tapered uh, ring compressor. It's a uh, 60 thousandths over. Uh, it works great, except, um, what am I gonna get right there? The ring still is bigger than the, where the taper starts. So uh, when you get, um, I don't even know if you can see it on this side. Yeah, when you get when you get one side in, the other side is still sticking out. So what I do is uh, use one hand to push down with a little pressure, and then just use this plastic tool to walk my way around like this. And you can feel it pop in. I'm not using a, a lot of pressure at all. And then once you get all the way around, you'll feel the whole thing's in there. You can push it down and do the top ring. The oil ring goes in fine. Uh, it's just the other two. So, but otherwise this compressor works great. And then uh, once I get the piston in there, I keep a lot of pressure on the ring itself because I don't want to leave any little gap here for my ring to pop in. Because when you're tapping it down with a mallet, that's how you're going to break a ring. Okay. Okay, I'm putting in the last piston on the uh, driver's side. So, this eight in the back, five up front with my uh, crank snap. So, here you can see why it's so important to get that chamfer on the rod facing the right way because it has to face in that, to that where the radius is. And there's my cap there, you can see that uh, large chamfer. Okay, so I have all my pistons in. Um, everything went in without a problem at all. And then I did run into a little snag because I put my cam in first without the uh, little uh, dowel pin. And you can't drive it in when the cam's in there because you'll knock the, um, the plug out the back. So I had to pull the cam back out. It's not a big deal. It only took a few minutes. and. Um, Put that pin in there, lubed it up, and stuck it back in. I got my timing chain on, I put it at uh, zero, dead zero center, I don't know what you call it, zero advance. So I will probably also check, um, I have a dig, uh, micrometer, I can check the, the uh, timing on the cam, but you're supposed to do it with the, uh, you know, rocker arms, push rods, all that stalled, so I don't know, I think I can just do it off the lifter, just drop a lifter in the bore and measure it that way, so we'll see.